Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, if you haven't already told from looking at my face, it is going to be a very natural makeup tutorial. I wanted to do a extremely natural tutorial. I wanted to do this for a while now, and now that it's kind of hit summer, this kind of look is very appropriate for them summer days when you don't want to wear too much makeup. This makeup look is just enhancing what you actually have already, so it's not adding anything additional. You're literally just smoothing things over, just enhancing things, little bits here and there. This is perfect for work, going to the shops, if you need to walk the dog, just if you want to leave the house with some makeup on it doesn't take a long time it's very simple minimal and you just look like yourself still and it's a no makeup makeup look because you know someone would look at you and not really think you know she was wearing a ton of makeup it's natural and it's made to look natural so I can't wait for you guys to see this so if you guys do want to know how I achieve this makeup look that I am wearing then please just keep on watching Okay guys, so I have started off with nothing on my face. I've literally just cleansed my skin. Although I am using a BB cream instead of a foundation, I still feel like I need to hydrate and prep my skin as normal because my skin tends to get oily and dry. So I'm gonna prep my skin as I usually do and I'm gonna be taking the Vitamin E Intense Moisture Cream to get started. I'm gonna just apply this all over. And then I'm just going to apply some eye cream. This is the Vitamin E eye cream from the Body Shop also. And I'm just going to again apply a really small amount of this. And just apply this under my eyes. And also on my lids. And yes, I do like to go for a primer. Even though I'm using a BB cream. Just because I feel like it just smooths on a lot easier. So I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance. And I'm just going to be applying two pumps of this and just applying this all over. I have actually been really liking this primer just for everyday use, just to make my skin feel a lot more hydrated. I am in love with it. Okay, so to get that kind of flawless but naked skin look, I'm gonna be mixing together two BB creams. The main BB cream that I like is the Dream Pure BB Cream 8-in-1 BB cream, 2% salicylic acid for oily skin. I love this, but the colour that I got is way too light for me. So what I like to do is mix in the Dream Bronze BB SPF 25 Medium to Deep BB cream from Maybelline. They're both from Maybelline and these are just amazing. This and this are basically the same, but this one is just more bronze. And this one I just feel covers a lot better. So basically I mix these two together to get my perfect shade and just to bronze up a little bit which makes it perfect for summer. Then I just like to apply it with my finger onto my skin. So to blend all of that in, I look really weird, to blend that all in I'm going to be using my Morphe G2 brush and I'm just going to be patting this into the skin. So I just like to make sure that this is really evenly blended in so I'm just taking that brush and just patting this into the skin because I don't want it to be sticky. When my face looks this bronzed, even though it does match my neck and my body, I do like to have a contrast between light and dark. So I'm going to go over with some of the MAC Mineralize Concealer in NC25. This is a very light feeling concealer so it's very thin, it's made from minerals so it is very light, it's quite radiant at the same time so it's not too heavy. This is definitely one of the lightest concealers I own in texture, not lightest in colour. So I'm just going to be using this to highlight under my eyes. So I just kind of still highlight in that kind of upwards motion but not as much as we would do if we were going for a glamorous look. And I'm also going to apply some onto my forehead, down the bridge of my nose as always just to gain a little bit of structure into our nose, and a little bit on the chin and my cupid's bow. I'm also just going to apply whatever's left on the brush onto my eyelids. So this is what we're working with at the moment. I'm just going to take that same Morphe brush and just use this to bounce this into my skin. And as you can see, it just gives off the most natural concealed look. It's very natural and it blends very easily. I'd highly recommend this concealer for people that want to go for something very natural. I'm just going to use my fingers to make sure this is all really well blended in. 
At the moment my skin looks really nice and flawless without having to put too much product on it which means it's going to feel really light. I don't feel like I'm wearing lots of makeup but I do need to set it because these products are all quite glowy products that aren't really going to set into the skin so I do need to set them with a powder especially because I do get quite oily throughout the day. The powder that I particularly like to use is the Soap and Glory Instant Retouch Powder and this is a really nice translucent powder with a slight yellow undertone. So I'm just going to take some of this on a Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just going to set my under eyes first because these are always the first areas to crease. I'm also going to set my forehead just to take away that shine that I always tend to have on my forehead. And then without adding any extra product, I'm just going to take a powder brush and then just put that onto my face just to make sure that all the powder is blended and there are no additional powder particles just sitting on my skin. Just to give us a little bit more colour and just to look more healthy, I'm just going to be bronzing a teeny tiny bit, nothing too much because this is a no makeup makeup look. Bronzer I like to use when I like to go on the more natural side is the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer and this is just the most natural bronzer and I just apply a really small amount of that under my cheekbone and on the sides of my forehead and then just kind of join it up in a C and this just kind of gives us a really nice natural sun-kissed look. To blend that all in, I'm just going to go in with that clean powder brush again. I'm just going to go for a really natural highlighter just because I don't want to go for anything too crazy considering we're not wearing much on the rest of our face. I'm going to be taking the Kiko Colorsphere eyeshadow in number 3 and this is just a really pretty gold highlight. And I'm just going to take some of this onto this fan brush from MAC and then just apply a little bit of this onto my cheekbones. I'm going to apply some on the tip of my nose just to turn my nose upwards a little bit. So once you're happy with your complexion we can get started on the other features. And for a really natural look what I like to do is apply a tinted brow mascara. This is the Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set from MAC in the colour Quiet Brunette. It tints my eyebrows at the same time of grooming them. So what I like to do is just flick my brows upwards and then as it gets to the arch I like to kind of flick them downwards. So at this point they're kind of tinted and they have a little bit of shape to them so just put them in the place that you want them to go with the clean spoolie. I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer on my angled brow brush and just apply this directly underneath the brow just to clean it up and this will just give it a little bit of shape. So you can totally leave it here and not apply anything else but I do like to apply a little bit of brow pencil just on my arch area because unfortunately my brows don't like to grow at all in the arch area, so just to lift my brows a little bit, I'm just going to literally apply the tiniest bit of brow pencil in that area. And I'm just literally flicking it because I don't like to apply too much. And then again, I'm just going to brush through the brows just to finish them off and just to make sure everything looks nice and natural. And you can totally go for some eye makeup if you want to. I'm just going to apply the tiniest little bit of mascara because I don't like to go too crazy on my eye. The mascara that I'm going to be using is the What's Your Type Black Mascara from The Balm. I'm just going to apply a really small amount of this onto my top lash line. And I just like to completely leave the bottom lash line because my top lashes are a lot shorter than my bottom lashes. So this just kind of gives me a more open eyed effect than applying the bottom lashes. So that's just kind of enough for me. I don't like to go too crazy and sometimes I don't even apply mascara because to be honest, I don't feel like it really makes that much of a difference. So sometimes I'll just leave it. Just to brighten up my eyes a little bit, I'm going to take a nude pencil and just run it on my waterline. And this just kind of effortlessly opens up your eyes. So to finish off this look, of course, is the lips. Everything is so natural, so I personally usually like to go for a nude lip. Either a peach nude or a pink nude. Today I'm feeling nice and golden, so I want to go for more of a peach. But go for whatever you feel suits your skin. going to be taking the Kiko Lip Pencil in 700. This is their Smart Lip Pencil. And I'm just going to be aligning my lips. For lipstick, I'm going to be taking my trusty Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lipstick. 
totally go for a gloss as well if that's the kind of look you like to go for for a daily wear but for me I feel more comfortable in a matte so guys that's the end of this look I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial of course this is one of the most natural makeup looks I have ever done on my channel. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it is something a little bit different to anything I usually do considering the rest of my looks are usually on the more colourful dramatic side. The majority of the time if you guys saw me outside of YouTube this is what I would look like because this is just the look that I love to go for the most and this is where I feel most like myself. I feel like I'm wearing makeup, it's nice, it's glowy, I feel healthy and it's just you know yourself but a more confident, better version of yourself. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a ton. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put new videos up three times a week. You'll see my face three times a week. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.